Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rens Kadauna and this is my art channel. Today is a special video because it's a collaboration with my two favorite artists and friends, Olga Sobi and Molly from Molly's Artistry. Our collaboration is called Life in Fluid Color. We send each other pictures of our holidays, but also during daily life. And Olga has sent us this picture of one of her ski trips. And based on this picture, we're going to create an artwork. Well, this picture made me very nostalgic. In my teenage years, we went quite often on ski trips. And what I love about this type of holiday is that during the day, you're in the cold, in nature, it's serene, you're working out, fresh air. And then at night, you're going to go après ski to the restaurants, to the pubs, a lot of energy, warm coziness and why i love this picture so much is that it totally portrays my view of a ski trip the nature the mountains the snow but then the red in the flag here in the canadian flag here is definitely the reminder for me the evenings that i experienced in this painting i want to create a contrast so one part will be very serene and calm and then with the accent of the red create more energy and interest in this painting and with this collaboration we want to celebrate our acrylic wearing a to c course together we have created a very comprehensive step-by-step -step acrylic pouring course and we're running the biggest sale we have ever done you can check out our course on smartartcourses.com and with coupon code jingle30 you will get $30 off. And if you were planning to buy my Dutch Pool Bloom course, then you can buy them together and also have the lowest price ever on my course. Let's get started. I just did a painting, but I just was not really loving everything. So I'm scraping it all together and creating a new base really. I think this base is great. Let's start pouring the colors. I will start with a very light turquoise. Then a sky blue. Then for a boundary color, so the color in between the blues and the red, I will use a paint gray. Then just the smallest starch of red, really. Yes, that's enough. And then for the center of this painting, I will use silver. Let's blow this out. This does look very good. Here in the center we do have some of the red, but here it turns out to be more pink. That's fine. Always a little bit of an enemy surprise. So I'll torch around the center here. I sure hope I have enough base paint to let this flow with the spin out. Uh, and I will be tweaking a little bit.
So I do want to spin this further than what it is now. Um, but I need to spin quite hard because I just don't have that much space to let it flow like it normally does. And I must say, I quite love the design. It's different. The colors are totally different. And that's great about collaborations like this. It really makes me think about the color palette and I'm using different colors than I would pick out normally. Okay, let's continue spinning. So I spin this quite far and um, I'm loving the center. That's beautiful. Um, not so much the edges. So I was thinking to do something different this time. I'm gonna spray paint around the edges here. Now after I spray painted around the sides, the petals are really gradiently vanishing in the background, which is gorgeous. It has such an icy layer over it. In the winter with snow, everything is lightly covered with this white goodness. And this painting definitely has that as well. This is really gorgeous. I would love to know what you think about this painting. I will show you the end result and after my video, check out Molly and Olga's video as well. <laughs>